we we had to go to the racetrack so that we could get the parts we needed in order to go down to Broxon and kick ass. Because we were told by Delta, the, uh, the angel second in command of the creator, that uh, they were trying to help us in our quest by uh, getting all of the pieces of nitrous in one location. And Broxon came in and took all of them. So, yeah, we're going to have to storm in there and take them all. But to do that, we had to go to this racetrack because Cybrix remembered that they had um, a banned military ship that Broxon w- uh, was going to mass produce there. Um, and we fixed up our ship in a very cool montage sequence. And we were heading down there, and then we met Corporal Eagle Bastard. And uh, when when we landed on the planet, we got in that race, and we were kicking ass until Platt almost got lasered to death. And he tried to take over Corporal Eagle's ship. Did not end well for him. So as as one last fuck you to him, uh, per Platt's last request, we threw him directly into uh, Corporal Eagle's thrusters, which destroyed those, and we won the race. But Platt sacrificed himself in the process. And I gotta say, Happy New Year. Platt was twisted. Wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> great great yeah, segue, Hunter. <laughs> great segue. Happy New Year. <laughs> Next episode. Wait, wait. Uh, this okay. time on yes, now. Nebula Ocean. <laughs> so, um, directly after the last session ended off. And they did it! The Messier 87 has won the race! Cybrix yeah! has won this Yay! year! And the crowd is going wild. However, it was a very, very hollow victory for everyone. We did it, Platt. We did it. I just imagine Platt wakes up just to say one more word. Congratulations. And then, uh... No, no, he can't. He's he's gone. There's there, there's no body. Yeah, I know. Just in our minds. Just... I, I, I do see um, Sarah appears and she creates a digital recreation of Platt's hat and she tips it in uh, honor of him. Yep. I don't know if that makes it better or worse. Cybrix. Wicker could pay his respects, but he didn't really have a hat. Cybrix. You got one on Walmart. Silent. <laughs> Oh yeah, just spit a hat at me so I could tip yeah, it. Yeah, in inside the Walmart, Sean flips a sign like in honor of Platt's death, hat's ninety-nine percent off. <laughs> Already free, so it's just You get ninety you get five dollars with each purchase. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, ninety-nine like percent off. <laughs> Uh, the the Swiss throw up a hat for um Wicker.
Does anyone else want to follow? Also, Swiss spits out the hat. I imagine, like, it fires <laughs> out like a cannonball, and it hits, like, the very top of Wicker's head and spins around it like it's a horseshoe. Nice throw. Yeah, nice one. But, uh, um, Wicker does want to follow Cyber Crossfit thing. The Swiss and Boom Clip want to follow as well. Sure. But Wicker wants to, like, try. He wants to use his telekinesis to tip the hat for a flash. Aw. <laughs> as he's going by. Swiss doesn't yet. Okay. Swiss is staying in the ship. Do I gotta yeah. roll to see how successful okay. I'm tipping the hat? No. Swiss. God Swiss rolls in that pony and flings it. So it just kind of wants to like stand there or like sit there and stare at the the armory. Oh, okay. So Swiss stays behind watching the armory getting built, and uh, as that's going on, <clears throat> the others walk outside, and there is that. Swiss doesn't even notice. There is that android. Well, I'll be. I did not expect you to actually win this year. Congratulations. And uh, he holds out the trophy, and Cybrix does take it, but he does not look happy at all. It's a giant trophy, too. It's the number one uh, made seemingly out of platinum. Very, oh. very nice. Oh, what, what's wrong, Cybrix? You don't look happy. I don't know. I are you sad because we murdered people? No, it's not that. I... I've wanted, I've wanted to win this for so long. It just, it. I guess it just doesn't really feel like anything. Not right now, anyway. Yeah, you did lose a friend. In the process. Don't you mean we? That's what I said. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> they hear some footsteps coming from behind. As they slowly turn and look, they see it's Corporal Eagle who miraculously seems to have survived, though uh, he, he's, he's charred up, definitely got damaged. But uh, yeah, he's, he's still walking. Cybrix just <laughs> glares. Well, are you going to say something, Cybrix? He doesn't deserve me saying anything. Okay. And uh, he... It appears one of his legs is broken, a Corporal Eagle's. As he is limping over. You know what? <laughs> that wasn't too bad. But I'm gonna beat you next time. Yeah, good luck on that one. You know what? Maybe I'll kill you next time, stick. I'm kind of hard to kill. Can Swiss exit the ship? Yeah. I I think Swiss heard that. There's only one way to kill me, and I'm not saying how to do it. On on their way out, they they did hear Corporal Eagle say that. Kill another one of my friends again. I will brutally murder you. I'll suck you up into his Walmart and make you clean the toilets. 
Or that. That would be a worse fate, because then he can't die. Yeah, you think? <laughs> and then the same thing will happen to him that uh, <laughs> happened to make rat his first day. I want to go mm. inside Walmart. You have, I think, before. Mm-mm. Mm. Very, uh... Cybrix does then turn and he looks directly at Corporal Eagle. There's not going to be a next time. I'm not going to race again. You know why? Because I won. And I don't feel anything. I'm not happy. I'm not overjoyed, excited. I didn't even want to win this. I only wanted the parts that you stole. So no, I'm not going to race you again. I'm going to let you live with the fact that you can race every other following year. You can be number one every single time. But you will never have beaten me today. Or my friends, especially Platt. It's not of the worst fate for him. I want to make him work at the armory. Make him work as a freaking... I oh want to God. talk him into Walmart and make him the only person working at the army. I, or we have to watch. We have to watch a video after the session. Okay. This is giving me a lot of really cool character <laughs> ideas. Oh my so, God. Really. Cybrix. He he looks at Swiss because he know or he looks at Swiss and Wicker because he knows the two of them. Are, they're just waiting right. for Cybrix to start walking away so they can do whatever to Corporal Eagle. So we're just kind of with the float away. There. I don't care what happens to you, but I just want you to know you are never ever going to win again. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go get what I came here for. He starts making his way over to Eagle's ship. And Eagle... He looks like he is about to say something. He kind of reaches one of his hands, but then he lowers it. He doesn't try to chase Cybrix. I mean, he has a broken leg, so it's not like he'd be able to catch up to him anyway. He just stands there, watching as Cybrix approaches his ship. Now, what are Wicker, Swiss, and Boom Clip going to do while Cybrix is over there? Mm. I'm not sure, though. Wicker just wants to, like... Wicker wants to go help Cybrix. Okay. I just okay. want to suck him into the Walmart. Do you, do, they they want to suck Corporal Eagle into the Walmart? Yeah, and make him the employee that works at the armory, because that would be ironic. Really? Okay. I, I would... <laughs> you want me to roll? Got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you can roll if you want. Damn. Mm. Uh, wow. Nah, the, the... Is it worth it? Nah. Not, I mean, not, not really. Floats but... behind Eagle and expands, tempting to suck him into the Walmart. And he 
can feel it, obviously. There's a black hole behind him. Swiss isn't uh, really we, trying that hard. Not flat. But can uh, can Wicker try to like push him in with his telekinesis? Uh, okay. But Eagle doesn't move. Eagle isn't trying to resist. He isn't even looking back at Swiss. He's still just watching Cybrix as he seemingly allows himself to get sucked in. And Enjoy your new job, buddy. As he does, he falls right, right next to McRat. So, uh, you're the new guy, huh? Yeah, make him work at the armory. Oh, wait, he, he, he's under me? That, that, that means I get to boss him around? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh boy! <laughs> Have fun. Just, uh, don't kill him yet. Oh, don't worry. I'll make him wish. That's what I do to him. <laughs> That's a group activity. We all have to do that. <laughs> just that random stand by her in the fucking e aisle. Man, Eagle I'm, feel just... I'm feeling bad for Corporate Eagle, and my character was the one who got killed by him. <laughs> I just on Eagle's face. He he has a face just like it looks like he doesn't even register what just happened to him. I imagine he just like looks at the sign and then just like face palms. No, he he like slowly turns his head to look at McRat and then his head goes back into the same position. And he just doesn't say anything. He doesn't really move. It's he's just stuck like that. Now, outside of the Walmart, um Cybrix is uh, currently dismantling Eagle's ship. Wicker wants to go help. Oh, he wants to go ask. He wants to go talk to Cybrix. Okay. Yeah, Wicker hops on over. Oh, is there anything I could do to help? Yeah, just... Uh, yeah. Use your telekinesis to just kind of strip everything off of here. Gotcha. I got to roll. Uh, yeah, I I was also going to roll. Oh, jeez. I think he does pretty good. Damn, <laughs> yeah, better than Cybrix, but you know what? I'm not going to re-roll. I think that makes sense. So... Wicker, like, expertly, he's he's using his telekinesis, making sure to, like, unscrew each piece of every weapon to make sure that they're as undamaged as possible. And he starts, like, putting them in nice, neat piles. And uh, Cybrix is lazily just cutting stuff off with his, with his lasers. Like, he, he is not caring right now. I mean, obviously, he's still paying enough attention to where he's not absolutely destroying everything, but yeah, he could definitely be doing a better job. Uh, you might want to be a little careful with that, Cybrix. You might kind of destroy it a little if you're not careful. <laughs> it's fine. Cheer up, man. I understand we lost our best friend, but I mean, you got you got a positive out of it. You got all this armory for your on all those weapons. Isn't that what you wanted? Oh no, yeah, that is what I wanted. But I don't know what what's even the point of it anymore. Yeah, we're trying to fulfill this prophecy or whatever, but. He slams one of his tentacles on the ship. Man, you need a Kit Kat bar or a Snickers. What's the point 
of saving the universe if you can't save everyone in it. That's true. Well, just think, Platt's in plant heaven. He's up there shooting, I don't know. He's shooting something up there. He's shooting <laughs> <me>. everything. <laughs> He's shooting everything. He Not to kick him out. He's just shooting everything. He he doesn't give a shit. He's just like, no I fucking. Just love the, the image of Platt. He's just there with his dream magnums going around, dream magnums, killing yeah. all the angels. Well, they can't. They can't send him to hell because they know. <laughs> They know what happened the last time they sent a gun crazy person to hell. <laughs> They're just gonna let him come back alive. Do Doob Slayer cannons yeah. <laughs> to, to Nebula Ocean. I love that. <laughs> sir Hell's Hell's just like, no, we don't need another one of those. Yeah, sir. <laughs> sir, why don't we send them to hell? We can't. If heaven, if, if I don't get it, Satan's it, already complained. Get in the pack. <laughs> Just like cuts down. Da, 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 da. I feel like that's Platt's <laughs> attitude up there. If heaven don't want me and hell don't need me, I'm coming back. Really eating the pack. <laughs> nah, nah, he's now nah, Platt's just having. He's just having a good time. <laughs> Platt thinking. I thought this was supposed to be heaven. Where is everybody? Oh, I just... killed them all. I'm I'm just like I'm just seeing like as soon as Platt arrives, he he sees his two dream magnums floating into his hands, and it just cuts to his goofy smiley face before it shows him running around killing people. Uh, so so, so yes, yeah, Cyberx, just imagine him up there shooting everything around him. I'm sure he's happy. And then just think, if we don't survive trying to uh, to, to fill the prophecy, we'll be right there with him. Jesus Christ. Wickers. Wickers not... It's not helping Cyberx's mood at all. <laughs> well, look at the bright side, of Wicker. If we also <laughs> die, <laughs> you want me to Cyberx tell you a joke to cheer Cy you up? I would rather you go back on the ship. Uh, I'm sorry. Hug. <laughs> Cyberx <laughs> looks. At Wicker's no arm. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, Wicker, yeah, yeah, sure. Knock yourself out. <laughs> I feel like Wicker just like uses telekinesis to grab a pile of leaves and wrap them around freaking Cybrix. Oh, uh, I I thought it would have been like kind of kind of more wholesome where he just kind of like hops over and like leans <laughs> on you. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was thinking, but then it'd probably hurt having a stick poke you. Well, Cybrix just had him up his ass. He, it's fine. Okay, and then Cybrix would meet, but Wicker would do that. Okay, Wicker hops over and leans on Cybrix, and you know, he knows Wicker is trying, so he. Lazily wraps one of his tentacles that he's not using to cut parts off the ship and wraps it around Wicker. Um. Okay. I'm okay, gonna... that's. Yeah, yeah, take those parts in the ship. Okay. And he continues cutting the pieces off. Now, what is Swiss currently doing? Is Swiss still overseeing the armory? Swiss is just like... If it makes you feel any better, I swallowed that bastard. <laughs> Man, now he's working at the armory named after Platt. Oh, that's... Uh... 
Um, you know what? No. So this wants to get one of the miracle grow things and go to the spot that Platt threw, like, oh, oh. go to the spot where he threw himself. Okay. Or at least, like, where his asses would be. Yeah. So I mean that it's it's where it's where the ship is. I mean like no. it, it, campaign we should have some random magic miracle grow that brings Platt back. No. As Swiss flies over to the ashes behind the ship, they take out one more thing of miracle grow and pour it. And after it's all poured in there, Swiss sees that a single flower pops out. (laughs) Uh, Swiss just gets supernova. Kills everyone. Man, I just remembered that Miracle Grow also works on Wicker. Yes. Yeah, remember we turned him into a giant sword when we were fighting that giant monster on Earth too. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man, saying that out loud. Yeah. Like... <laughs> um, <laughs> Only yeah, in Nebula Ocean does that. Yeah, make you any remember sense. that time where we turned you into a sword used by a giant mech to fight a monster on Earth too? <laughs> In the ocean, no less. Ah, man. Only in Nebula Ocean. Uh, this, this is why I love Nebula Ocean. As Wicker, or, yeah, as Wicker brings the stuff into the ship, uh, Sarah is still there, and she does still seem to be mourning, but she does see Wicker drop off all the stuff. Hi, Sarah. I'm just dropping this stuff off. Look, are you sure that you really want to do this? To what? <laughs> You know, go down to Broxon, storm in there, wherever the rest of these things are. We have no idea what we're going to be fighting. And the way I see it is... We'll be okay. I mean, I'm kind of nervous about it, not going to lie, but... That's the reason it goes. I am kind of nervous about it, but... Eh, talk about it with the rest of the group when they when we gather back together. She seemed like she wanted to say something, but didn't. And uh, soon enough, Cybrix and a Swiss return. Cybrix ha- taking off all of the uh, defensive plating. From Eagle Ship. Alright. Let's get back up into space. And we'll start installing all this stuff. Oh boy. And. Sarah does not respond. She just activates the ship's thrusters. And with that. They get out of there. Soon enough. They are back in space. But then Sarah does reappear. So you're all really sure about this? I mean, Broxon is supposed to be the most heavily guarded anything in the universe. Yeah. I guess that's why we want to take it. Got in for the. 
quest thing. I think it'll be great. I mean, you keep talking about the prophecy and all that stuff, but is that is that really worth it? I mean, you've all been through so much, and just to start like playing with cards. <laughs> is there really any other reason you want to do this? I am the chosen one. I was made for this. Maybe for you, but... Tybrick, Swiss... You all... Don't really have any reason. I... I can't do this alone. I need a team. I'm just a stick. Thybrix is staring at the number one trophy. We have a reason to do this. It's not like we're just throwing our lives in for nothing. Platt didn't give himself up for nothing. I mean, we didn't make it this far for nothing. Plus, Platt would want us to do this. Well, Thybrix. Platt just wants us to kill people. His his claw holding the number one trophy is shaking as they're saying that. Before Tybrick, he lifts let... it up and slams the trophy on the floor. Oh, okay. Cybricks? But why'd you do that? It's broken. There's only one reason I'm doing this now. Because promised Platt that we'd see this through. And I promised you all that we'd see this through too. Twist just wants to go outside the ship. Just like mm. cling to the side of it. Sarah. What would happen if Twist absorbed our ship? Then we'd be in the Walmart. <laughs> I guess that's one way to like defeat our battles. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but it takes a lot of energy for Swiss to do that. I mean, they can do it. It's it rose in that it rose in that twenty and fucking just swallow us. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, yeah, that that's a possibility. And. uh... Sarah does look genuinely surprised, but she still looks unsure. Sarah, you know the coordinates to Broxon. Set our course there, and we'll make sure we're ready. Now... I am actually going to have to roll a charisma check. Is your charisma good? I don't think so. I'm going to check. Oh, it's decent. It's actually decent. However, <clears throat> Sarah... Looks stern. And the group can hear the engines stop. Uh oh. Sarah, what are you doing? No. What do you mean, no? No, I'm not letting you throw your lives away. We need to do this, Sarah. No, you don't. We've been training for this. Oh my god, imagine Swiss having little baby black holes. 
Well, Swiss is a baby black hole, so what? <laughs> so what would... Swiss, if he's a baby, if he's a baby I'd be scared to see what the adult black Swiss hole is. Swiss doesn't hold any baby black holes. Oh, well, there, like there, there is a, there is an actual reason as to why Swiss is a baby black hole. Um, because if you recall, I'm, I'm pretty sure in uh, season one, one of the characters on Earth two mentioned that they've never seen a baby Swartz child before. And there's a reason for that. Yeah, yeah and then like. And then, like, on the side of the ship, supposedly the side that Swiss is on now, like, exactly where they were formed, like, a bunch of dust came together, and it was like, hey, I want to make a black hole, and the other piece of dust was like, cool. Head <laughs> <laughs> to the main. Sarah. Come on, we, we have to get this over with. Do you really want to get this over with? I know you. I know what happened. I'm not letting you kill yourself. Why are you acting like this? Cybrix goes over to the control panel himself, and as he tries to take control of the ship, Sparks fly out. What the? Oh, you just try to like unhook Sarah's like wire box. You want to? You want to try? Yes. All right, all right. Roll. I guess that'll be telekinesis. That was a seven. Sarah, now. open the door. I'm sorry. I should probably. I should probably <laughs> roll inspiration, shouldn't I? Yeah, it's up to you. Uh, we're probably going to get into some other shenanigans. So. Oh, okay, well, I'm not, I'm just... the fire department. <laughs> I mean, isn't his kinesis, like his uh, intelligence, really high? I don't his, think um... so. <laughs> his, uh... his intelligence is his lowest stat. <laughs> yeah, isn't it's it ne- yeah, it's negative one. Or... Yeah. And, but is it intelligence that he needs for that? Correct. <laughs> Oh my god. Sarah's gonna hate me now because she knows my plan. So are are you gonna use inspiration or you're not gonna risk it? I'm not gonna risk it. Okay. Wicker tries to take out Sarah's module, and as that happens Weapons inside of the ship activate and aim at both Cybrix and Wicker. Sarah, what the hell are you doing? Make him stop. Fine. He stops, and with that, the weapons go away. Sarah, why are you doing this? He doesn't answer. Answer him when he's talking. <laughs> you better roll charisma. Oh, oh. God. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> to be expected. <laughs> She's gonna kill Wicker. <laughs> she might. <laughs> he's doing fine. And Swiss would know. Yeah, I like how Swiss is just on the shit. Like <laughs> Swiss isn't Swiss isn't even there. Just like, man, I Swiss. wonder why we're I, I wonder why we're not going anywhere. What was going in there? Swiss is contemplating life and then it occurs to him, wait, we've been in the same place for the past five minutes. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. The thrusters aren't on. That's weird. <laughs> Did they do something to the ship again? <laughs> no, I imagine like flat is like stupid when it comes to ship stuff. There's like the the movie thingies that make us you know do stuff. They aren't on. Yeah, the fire the fire isn't coming out. Why is there no fire? 
Are they fire having a party good. in there? Fire is good. Fire murder. <laughs> what, like murder? Sarah, Oh my god, on. I just... I imagine, like, the last thing um, uh, Swiss did uh, before they left that planet was trying to scoop up the asses into, like, a pot. Sarah, come on, we... We have to do this. What, what's going on? I will have to roll charisma again. There's fucking people telling us. There you go. There right. we go. She looks. Like, it's actually hurting her to say anything. But words finally come out. Because I don't want Broxon to use me again! Use you? Again? Wait, 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 wait. You? Yeah. I was made by Broxon. A long time ago. But... But, but I, I... I found... I found you in the garbage. I know. I... I was originally created to be... Their central AI unit. To take control of their entire facility. But... They made me... Too... Independent. Because of that, they threw me out. It was a mistake on their end, because you're like the best thing we've ever gotten. Yeah, I mean, you helped us out a lot. I mean, we literally wouldn't have survived the KKK without you. But if we go back, if I go back, I... I don't know if they could take control of me or or do something worse. I I don't want to hurt you. Well, then let us shut you down temporarily. No. Let us let us just I don't know just fight back like we always have. I mean, yeah, I, we're not Perfect at it, but I mean, look, we've survived so far. So, and if, if he does take control over you, it won't be for long because we'll gain back access. Yeah, we'll we'll stop him. Just trust us. And she. He lets out a sigh, and the thrusters turn back on. Okay. You better make all those enhancements correctly, Cybrix. Um, I got you to help me, right? And she smiles. I'll help, too. <laughs> Her smile becomes very strained as he says that. I guess I won't help. No, you can help. He, he's fine. I just, hey, I, just see, I just see Swiss outside like, Oh, the fire's back! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's back? No way! Fire's friend. Fires also. Yeah, kill. What was Wicker gonna say? Huh? Wicker oh. was going to say something. Yeah. He... I just wanted to say I'm sorry for being rude. I I hope you don't murder me while I'm like resting in my leaf pile. Oh my god. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry for being a jerk, but don't murder me. Like, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'm like, sorry. No, I'm no, sorry no. for calling you a murderer, but please, seriously, don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I like the idea of Wicker's bed being a pile of leaves. <laughs> Sleeping atop the corpses of his own kind. <laughs> The... Well, they're just sticks. They don't have leaves. <laughs> Some sticks have leaves. Well, not not his race. Well, his race can. Are you thinking of the <laughs> twigs? But do some sticks yeah. have brains? A completely separate, unrelated race. Yeah, As but the question wait, is, are you racist? Do some of them have brains? As as Wicker says that, like one gun in the ship po- opens up again and points at. Him. I'll think about it. I love yeah. you, Sarah. Mm-hmm, I, I love- tolerate you. <laughs> I think all of them do, <laughs> especially Cybrix. Yeah, well, considering that they were connected for a while, he's grown slightly more attached to Wicker uh, in the non-literal sense. But also in the literal sense. Significantly less in the literal sense, because at one point, he was in his ass. (laughs) Yeah. I don't know how he still is. Yeah, yeah, he technically still is, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's get that get ass. that straight. Yeah, <laughs> but a bit less now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All Corey, right. So with... instead of in half, it's in his ass. <laughs> in his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagining that in Cody's voice. Uh-huh. <laughs> He, he's broken in his ass. His ass broken. <laughs> anyway. I'm definitely leaving that in there. That's funny. Yeah, let's let's get away from inside right. jokes. That okay, okay. Phoenix and Gavin aren't gonna get. <laughs> anyway. All right, so Cybrix gets to work on making the upgrades now a lot more focused. In fact, as he starts uh, getting all the um, metal plating ready so they can get put on the ship, he looks at the Platinum Trophy and he actually gets an idea. He starts going over to the pile of weapons and he uses his lasers to start melting the trophy. And what he's currently doing is he's trying to uh, encase the weapons in the platinum. So while he is doing that, what are Swiss and Wicker going to do? Uh... Wicker wants to go join Swiss out back. Okay. As uh, Wicker goes on top of the ship. I don't know why, but for no reason, I imagine Wicker has to wear a space helmet. <laughs> like it, Like it's um, just a really tiny space helmet to fit the stick. <laughs> I'm imagining Swiss is out there on one of like the fins on a lawn chair. <laughs> As... <laughs> yeah, lawn chair from aisle thirty. Yeah. Tag it didn't even take the tag off of it. <laughs> oh man, it's gotta go back. <laughs> it's gotta go back to Walmart. Why are you sitting out here? Why why are you sitting out here by yourself? Well, because I'm depressed and I would like to explode, but I can't because it would kill all of you. <laughs> oh, okay. Now he wants to walk back in. And even though that would be kind of funny, I don't think it's quite what Clot wanted. <laughs> that's incredible. I think that's. I think that's this conversation of all of Nebula Ocean. 
Oh, why are you sitting out here? Oh, I'm depressed and I want to explode. Okay, I'm going back inside. Good talk. <laughs> oh man, that that ha- like if if we ever can get someone to animate our like certain scenes, that has to be the first one. That, yeah, well, that, that would that would be like the post credit <laughs> scene of one of the episodes. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> but... hey, hey, what you doing out here? Oh, I'm depressed and I want to explode, but I can't because it'll kill all of you. All right. Bye. See I'm going back in. <laughs> see I just imagine. I just imagine Wicker gears up the or yeah, Wicker goes gears up the subject and uh, and it's like uh. Wicker, yeah, Wicker wow. he brought out like snacks and two drinks, but he just takes them all back inside <laughs> with him. <laughs> yeah. So how is Swiss? Uh, Swiss. Hey. He's Swiss. He's kind of depressed, and he's trying to kill himself. He wants to blow up. Ah. Uh, well, I can relate. Jesus yeah, fuck. but you can't blow up. I can. <laughs> Sarah, 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 Sarah Pierce. I told you you were going to kill yourself. I'm joking. I'm joking. But but the thing is, he said he if he blows up, he'll kill all of us. So that works. Well, there is a chance that his explosion won't destroy the entire ship. But Don't even if me. there is a very, very tiny chance of that not happening, you will be sucked into the vacuum of space. Don't give him the idea. Well, either way, you're going to die. I'm just saying that it might not be from the explosion. This is turning into a sitcom very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wicker. I've just encased these weapons, and I've also connected a couple of them together. Can you start sticking them on to the top of the ship, and oh, the yeah. side, and wherever? Sure, I could do that. Cool. Let's see, I gotta roll for that, Donna. Yes. God. No, you definitely don't. Well, this is what you saved your inspiration for. Please, Avery. My inspiration is just going to be safe to blow everyone uh, up. Is that good enough, or should I go again? Yeah, nah, you're you're just sticking stuff onto the ship. You're you're fine. He rolls a fucking one and destroys the whole damn ship. <laughs> Roll rolls a one, picks up like it uses telekinesis to pick up the weapons, and they just shatter. <laughs> Damn, now, now. Sarah would probably kill him at that point. <laughs> so Wicker, he he does go outside, but decides to just keep distance from Swiss as uh, he starts installing the new weapons. And uh, those new weapons appear to be... Um, flamethrowers that he put onto the uh, front sides of the ship, uh, which were used alongside the thrusters of Eagle Ship, uh, as well as a very powerful-looking railgun that is now uh, on top of the ship. And, And also some spikes. I mean, gotta have some spikes. Looks nice. Well, to move on to the next one. Now, while that's going on, I I imagine Swiss is going back into the Walmart and watching the armory as it is now fully stocked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. I still can't get over that fucking conversation. <laughs> um, McRat's just there. He's looking all smug. Hey, newbie, it's your first day running the armory. (laughs) Eagle, he still has that look of just pure, pure dread. 
And he, he slowly turns to McRat. Didn't this just get made today? <laughs> Did I tell you you could go into specifics? No. When you talk to me, you say, sir! No, sir. Good. Much better. Now, first thing you need to know about running retail is the customer is always right until they're not. Until well, they're not. The <laughs> customer is always right, except when they don't agree with me. <laughs> Normally, Spawn would yell at me for saying that, but he is not around. And I'm your manager. So, just uh, wait until someone comes in here. I, I'm going to be honest, I, I still don't really know how this works. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and uh, Alexander is going to be in to uh, get a shipment of weapons. So, uh, yeah, it's just uh, just be prepared. Okay. And McRat leaves to, uh, I, I don't know, go go on break <laughs> while, uh, while Eagle is just there. And he looks up at the sign that says Platt. Does Swiss want to speak with him or McRat or any of the other workers? Yes. Okay, who would uh, Swiss like to speak with? Uh, Mr. Newbie. Okay. I'm still very pissed. Oh, uh, wait, wait, what is that? Are you talking from the ceiling? It's a PA system. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I guess I guess that makes sense. We have those here. I I didn't I wasn't I, I just wanted to prove a point. I never said I didn't forgive you. I just said I was still pissed. Wait, you you forgive me? He wasn't the best person to ever exist. He liked to murder, I'll much like myself, but still. Everyone's got their time. I, I guess that's one way to look at it. And he looks at the sign again. So, though, it seems you guys really respected him. I really like the idea of Swiss coming to the conclusion that, like, or Swiss realizing that Platt and um because the thing was Platt and Corporal Eagle had a duel yep no, well okay first of all everything that happened there was Platt's idea he did it for knowing real? full well that he would die <clears throat> there also might be a reason that he wanted to but I won't if you remember a recurring thing from the last season, Corey, um, but also, mm. it was a cowboy-style duel. Flat, in his head, that was like, whoever, whoever, like, wins that is the more deserving of respect. And Corporal Eagle won. Yep. 
and I think uh, I think Swiss kind of understands that. Which would make sense because Swiss can kind of relate to the whole wanting to kill things thing. Yeah. Yeah. It uh, seems that Cybrex took it pretty hard. He did. But like time, or like everything else, time heals. So. I still remember the first day. First day ever came to that racetrack. Just bright eyed. He had an honestly real piece of shit ship that he made out of some junk parts. Said that his new AI would be the thing that gave him the victory. Got last place. First, I thought to encourage him, I had to try to put him down a few pegs, show him what the rest of the competition's like, try to get him motivated. And well, he started getting better. Not much, but he at least took second to last place. And might have been able to get maybe sixth place eventually. As he kept getting better, I thought I had to get even worse, I guess. I don't even know why. He wasn't even a rookie anymore, but just felt like what I had to do. And when I saw that he might actually beat me, I, I just... I just couldn't let that happen. Yeah. I think... Everyone has a moment like that every once in a while. And you're not quite sure what to make of a situation and you act impulsively. And I'm not quite sure the rules for that race. And I really didn't want to be in it, but I guess. You do earn the respect for winning. The. The duels. Could you tell him. That. No matter what he thinks about me. And what I did. And what I have done. In the past. I always respected him for not giving up. Uh, All right. One more thing before you go. Right, or if if you go, I, I I don't know how this works. Uh, McRat dropped this. Uh. This uh, laser cannon RG, and I don't know where it goes on the shelf. Can can, can you help me with that? Oh yeah, it goes on the um XL weapons rack. It's oh, right the oh there, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see the other. Okay, yeah. Thank, thank you. Yeah, there exactly. we go. No problem. If you need help, you can ask McRat, and if McRat needs help, you can ask Sean, and then Sean can ask me. Or, oh. you know. 
Uh, all right. Uh, thanks. Mm-hmm. And does uh, the Swiss leave the ro- the Walmart? No, just goes to supervise some of the other sections. <laughs> it sees Grinch still on the uh, customer support. <laughs> Enjoying oh. yourself? I don't oh, know my. who the hell this Walmart person is. <laughs> yeah. How many times are you people going to call in asking for Walmart? This is the Grinch. And he slams the phone. Oh yeah, no, that, I'm I'm doing great. The phone rings. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Hang hang on one moment. Hello. This isn't the Grinch. This is Walmart. Idiot. Damn it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm 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 sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I've I've just been in the zone so much today. It, uh, get God messed up. Messed up. Had. Make your best bet. Someone answers the phone. You can say. Uh... It's the Grinch speaking from Walmart customer support, and they might uh, make you a little less angry. Hmm. The phone rings. Hello, this is Grinch from Walmart support. How may I help you? Oh. He, he, like, puts down the phone just so the customer on the other line can't hear him. He didn't ask if this was Walmart. Huh. Well, I'll be. Hey, thanks, sir. Uh, no problem. <laughs> uh, I, I love the Walmart. <laughs> That's just amazing. <laughs> it really is. Uh. And while that's going on, uh, Cybrix is rewiring the new weapons and connecting them to the other weapons and getting everything all set up. Oh, okay. Almost done. How much longer we got? Well, we have about an hour. Uh, you... Sarah. The more you worry, the more you're going to try to kill us before we get there. Just let us do our thing. We got this, probably. And even if we don't, bullshit luck's been on our side so far. And she rolls her eyes. Yeah, yeah, sure. If you can trust something like luck. And uh, he continues building. And after an hour passes, they do see the Brock's on headquarters on the horizon. But luckily, Cybrix just finished installing the last piece that they need. Okay. We're ready to go. Now, as they look at the Broxon headquarters, it, um, well, it looks a lot different than they imagined. So, from what they saw in the papers and various news, um, like, news stations that would broadcast about the Broxon headquarters, they imagined that it would be some sort of large space station, and that would be it. After all, I mean, it's just meant for shipping items and stuff, right? It's not meant to be anything more than that. that. However, as they approach it, they see that, yes, there is a large uh, cylindrical space station there. However, 
in the middle, smack dab in the middle of the large space station, was a gigantic dome that covered the half portion of the station. And that dome appeared to house some sort of gigantic city. It was almost like a dwarf planet-sized metropolis directly connected to the space station. Uh, guys, did, um, did anyone know about Broxon making its own city? No, scratch that. Its own planet? Can I roll to see if I know? You know what, sure. Down it, but we'll see what happens. Tricky goddamn bastard. Wait, what the hell? Why did it paste it twice? Hold up. Wait, what? That's not even what I. Th- Hold on, I gotta retype it. Yeah, no I worries. Dead, but freaking. Uh, alrighty. Yeah. There we go. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wicker actually does remember seeing all the way back when him and Cybrix first met that on um, one of the monitors in that uh, city displayed a news station saying how right. Broxon was planning on making a planet-sized metropolis. Yeah. Um, I remember seeing this on the news broadcast that they're making a planet-sized metropolis. So, well, I, can, I remember plain as day. I was with they Cybrix. Can, they can do that? Mm-hmm. And Sarah was also in complete shock. Wow. They wanted a single AI to be able to control everything in the facility, but that city is directly connected. There, there's no way they could make an AI that powerful. Well, kind of makes you think about that whole satellite Epsilon incident. (laughs) Oh, how I love tying multiple campaigns together. Uh, I don't know what, what that was supposed to mean. Uh, my other group, the ones that help me with my YouTube videos, are doing our own Nebula Ocean campaign, which is taking place chronologically at the same time Season 2 does, where they're going through the whole Satellite Epsilon situation. Mm. As for whether our characters will do anything with that, no. (laughs) <laughs> so <laughs> it's just l- background lore <clears throat> and as the group or as the ship is approaching the dome suddenly in um, Sarah's hologram another hologram pops up, and she's even completely shocked. It's almost like something uh, invaded her module, and it appeared to be another AI. 
Why, hello, travelers. My name is Alex, Broxon's main AI unit. Do you have permission to enter? Oh, so you're you're you're, you're her replacement, and Alex looks Wait, at Sarah. I just, I just realized that Swiss is still outside the ship. Yep. He's been writing this whole time. Okay, so Swiss goes in and sees two floating people. Floating people, yay! He's been out there a little too long. (laughs) Am I seeing this, or am I crazy? Or a bit of both? Uh, Now, the thing about Alex is... She is designed to look fairly mechanical. Uh, and this is a pretty, uh, there is a pretty obvious reason about that, mainly so that Broxon can appeal to any alien race. Uh, they, while Alex is fairly human in terms of just like uh proportion and appendages and just general appearance he is clearly meant to represent either a robot or an android well then and as alex looks and sees sarah <gasps> The prototype! Perfect timing! You may enter. And a, um, as the group look, a hatch opens up on the dome. And it seems it is ready for their ship to go in. And before anyone can ask any questions, Alex disappears. Well, that, uh, was, that was strange. Where'd she go? Sarah does not look happy. She looks very afraid. It's gonna be okay, Sarah. We'll protect you with all we can. Yeah. Don't worry. I mean, if worse comes to worse, I can just absorb the ship and boom, you're in Walmart. They don't have any control over that. Or you could just suck up the whole damn prototype. Against Broxon, I'd be more cautious doing that. Mm, nope. He just there, is a, there, there is a reason that's going to be coming up. Mm. And uh, as a way of protecting her, Cybrix actually takes her module out of the ship. And he keeps it with him. She looks up at him and she does seemingly calm down a bit before disappearing. Would you like me to put it in the roller? I know it's safe. Not yet. She knows, she knows this place better than all of us, or, well, other than the city, I guess. So we'll keep her out for now and. If things get dicey, yeah. And as their ship is entering the hatch, another ship flies in very fast right behind the group ship. But since they don't have Sarah in the module anymore at the moment, they aren't able to tell that there is a ship behind them. Uh Uh-oh. And with that, both ships enter the hatch, and it closes. Now, this would be a perfect time to end the session. However, there is just one thing that I would like to... um, to leave off with. 
as soon as the hatch closes, Swiss feels bad. It kind of feels like when they got transported to the epicenter with Delta, but way worse. It feels like Swiss's body is about to implode on itself. Like, not not actually explode, but it feels almost like Swiss is going to get sucked up into themselves and just vanish from existence. And that is where we will leave things off for this session. Hi, Swiss. Guys, that was that was a good session, but I still can't get over that conversation with Wicker and freaking Swiss <laughs> Town. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm so impressed. I want to explode, but that would kill all of you. Hi, how are you? Uh, I'm. I want to die. I just want to yeah. blow up. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, de- I'm okay, depressed and I want to blow up. I don't want to blow up, but I'm, I can't because it'll kill all of you. All right, <laughs> all right I'm going back inside. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> See ya. Anyways, I gotta go. Uh, all right. Shit, but... All right. Per- per- well, then, perfect time to end the session. <clears throat> yeah.